you know, I told y'all, you must have forgot. And Izzy was proving me right until about three minutes into that fifth round. You know, uh, that f- was the end of the first Izzy rocked him. It's so crazy to me how this pretty much duplicated the last kickboxing, kickboxing match between these two gentlemen. It was almost identical because if you've seen those fights, Izzy's winning, lighting him up, and then, you know, Pierre just has so much power to catch him in the fights over. That's so much power that guy has. Um, I thought Izzy looked phenomenal. I thought uh, Izzy was doing a good job with the leg kicks. I, he did mention the post-fight uh, press conference. He did throw a leg kick, and uh, Alex checked it, and that messed up whatever the nerve is in his leg, so that he felt compromised there. He was like, after that, it was, it's kind of trouble for me. So kudos to Alex Pierre. I, I, I still believe that Izzy's the better fighter. I think for Izzy, you know, he's been so dominant, and people kind of get sick of that, especially when you think he's not – you know, fighting like he used to. We always hear this from, he's not fighting like he used to. Now he's this, he's a boring champion. But I couldn't disagree more with that. I think it's more credit to Izzy, the way he's fighting. And I think it's more of a product of his opponents not bringing the fight because Izzy's so goddamn good. Um, so the UFC knew that. They, they need to spark a fire under Izzy's ass because he's just dominating everybody. There's no fresh blood for him. So their hope was Alex Pierre would be the guy who's the Achilles heel of Izzy and seems to be that way, right? He's 3-0 against Izzy, 2 in kickboxing, now in MMA. But uh, again, I- Izzy's definitely won more rounds over Alex, but he's just not winning the fights. Izzy's one of the only champs he has who just he wants to stay active, and he had no reservation about fighting Alex Pierre. Even though he's flatlined him before, he's like, yep, yeah, sign him up, let's do it. And I thought Izzy was the better, more technical striker, Alex Pierre, I thought he was a little reserved, especially in the first three rounds because he's never gone 25 minutes. So he would close distance and have Izzy going backwards, but he wouldn't do a lot with it. I thought he, his leg kicks um, were great, super high level. I thought his body um, punches and kicks were great. Shows what level he's at. He's an absolute savage. And also just his size advantage. My God. I tell you guys how big Izzy is. And then we see Alex and they're like, oh, this it's looks gigantic. like Izzy versus Jan. Like yeah. he was, he's Alex could fight at 205. I don't know if he wants to, but Alex Pierre and um, Yuri would be a great fight. I don't know who'd win that fight. This Alex Pierre dude is a savage. Um, but I, again, I'm not taking anything from Alex. I just feel like, and this is what shows you what true champion is he is. He could have coasted that fifth round. He could coast that fifth round, won this fight easily. I think every judge had Izzy up on the cards four to zero, maybe three to one. Three to one. Three, it was a three to yeah. one, yeah, three to one. I mean, that first round could do ten eight, yeah, could do ten eight at the very end. There, he wobbled. I mean, if there's thirty more seconds. The he fight's over. On, yeah. That thing's over. He was on freaking Sixth Street, you know, wobbling his legs, and the punch came after the bell, but the motion was going when the bell rang, so that wasn't dirty to me. Is he? He's gonna go back and watch that fight. I'm like, it's similar to the first fight, man. Similar to the second fight. Like I'm outclassed him, lined him up. You know, could have had some finishes there if I would have put the pressure on a little more. Um, but you let Alex hang around with that power, and if he eventually, you know, decides to go, when he goes, you better be out of the way or you're going to lose the fight.